Previously on Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl. See an anomaly shining over there. Maybe we should just wait it out. But the sun should be coming up really shortly. Let's just wait it out and see. Yeah, you know what? I'd rather wait it out than go out there with the dogs. Um. Yeah, let's just wait it out. Okay guys, it is 10.50, I'm not sure if this is a glitch, but uh, it's very dark out here. I don't know what the hell's going on. I thought this was on 24 hour clock, which it was. It said 21 something when I went to sleep. Why is it 10 something? And I gotta tell you something, this game creeps me out. The sounds, the atmosphere. Oh man, this game is very creepy. So, it's either it's a very bad storm out here, or, um, yeah. But uh, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. Like, I, I try to sleep. I, I slept another four hours, and nothing. It's still like pitch black out here. Like, I'm really kind of freaked out right now because I want to get back to town and the sun won't come up. So, what's up with that? Is it a glitch? Am I glitched out? Of day? Is it night forever? Is that part of the game? Well, you know what? I don't know what to do. Should I go further? So many anomalies around. And there's doggies all around too. But uh, what can I do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I do want to go. Okay, so... I mean, I... Like, these dogs are not bad, but... Man, if there's a few of them, you're dead. Yeah, this game, this game, I give a lot of kudos to these games. You totally see these are, like, some of the makers of uh, Metro. Oh, 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 here we go. Where? Where? No! Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where? Okay, I'm running out of bullets. And uh, I ran out of my semi-automatic ammo. I only have two left, because I wasted it all on that other nasty creature, whatever that was. Come on, Day, are you kidding me? Like, this is crazy. This is crazy. I I'm gonna go test this out one more time. I'm gonna sleep. For another three hours, and if the sun doesn't come up, then I'm, I, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, crap. Uh, and don't set myself on fire. <laughs> I'm on edge. Okay, so it's still nighttime, as you see, and, um, and it's 2.16, so I'm guessing this is a, uh, a glitch. I'm guessing this is, a, this is some kind of bug or glitch with one of the mods. Uh, it might be the over weather overhaul mod. I don't know. I might turn that off if that's the case. Oh, that's uh, just... Uh, okay. Yeah, so what I'm going to do here is... Uh, I'm going to run. 
I'm just gonna run. I think that's the only way. Run, 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 run. Go. I'm gonna run. I'm just gonna run. Even the bandits, I don't care. Whoa. Don't run that way. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just running. What is this? Okay, that's the tunnel. Okay. What? What? Who? What's going on? I'm hearing voices. Okay, whatever. Okay, nope, run, run. I don't care, run. Yep. Oh my god, just run, oh my god, it's a ice run. I got a more stamina. This is not good. Is this it? Oh, so good to see you, town. This is crazy. Hello, how you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, so definitely something wrong. I think there's something wrong. It's either that it's really stormy outside, or there's something wrong with this game. With well, not the game, but one of the mods. Um. Okay, you know what? Let's just get out of the rain for a second here, and try to figure out what uh, what what's going on. Well, what we're gonna do here? I think yeah, that's right there. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, it's 2.46. And it's pouring outside. I don't understand. Okay, let's just go see uh, our buddy here. Well, hello there. Hello, I'll turn off the light for you. Uh... Let me trade. Okay, I got a bandit suit for you. I don't know. Actually, let me see. Provides protection highly. Should for zones. No. Okay, I'm selling that because you know what? I'm scared that if I wear that, that all of a sudden this faction is gonna start shooting at me. I'll sell you these weapons. Uh, let me see the condition of this one. Does it show? Okay, the condition is still pretty good. So I wonder if I could break down these uh, guns into pieces and. Uh, what else is there? Okay, I got energy drinks and stuff like that. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'll trade you that. What kind of weapon is this? Okay, so this one's rate of fire, not bad. Ha well, it's pretty good actually. Handling's pretty good. Accuracy, not so much, and damage, not so much. This one's damage is a little bit better. The rate of fire is a little crap here. And this, this one's accuracy is a little bit better. So I'm gonna keep this gun. That was actually a really good find. Uh, what I'm gonna do though, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy some bullets. I'll buy, since it is a semi-automatic, I'll buy 120 for now. Man, I'd love to have one of these. Oh well. And shotgun shells, how many do I have? I have 44. Um... That's not bad, but I will buy maybe 20. Okay. And I need some food. He does sell food. I'll buy his bread and two sausages. And uh, how's my, uh, it's not bad. I'll buy another 10. Okay, I'm wasting a bit of money here, but I do need to survive. So 
Not bad. Some yeah, not... pretty good stuff you've got there. Thank you. All right. Well, drop by if you get any more. Okay, so... Well, since it's crazy outside, let's see. Um, I need an answer... Any answers to a few questions. Uh, tell me about the zone in general. Ask away. Uh, do you know what happened to me? What kind of question is that? You see, that's some shady business. They found you in a death truck. That's a kind of a corpse carrier, right? These trucks come in from the center of the zone once in a while, loaded with bodies. No one really knows where they are heading. So one of them crashed into something and you were found nearby. This is the most amazing thing of all. We found broken down corpses carriers, corpse carriers before, but no one ever came out of them alive. I'm sorry, bro. That's all I can help you with. The rest, you'll have to figure out yourself. Okay. I'd like to find out more. Uh, I guess, uh, tell me about the zone. The zone, you see, it's not just a circle a few kilom... You see, it's not just a circle a few kilometers in diameter with a nuclear power plant in the center. It's something bizarre, really bizarre. I doubt anyone in the world could give you a straight answer. I feel the zone isn't even part of this world. It's a different, detached world, weird and dangerous, and attractive too. And you know why? Because with a little luck, anyone can get rich quick. And the quick closer you get come to the center of the zone, the higher you'll climb on the money ladder. Okay, but do I really want to get rich? And Anyways, uh, what's so different, or what's so dangerous about this different world? Hmm, or her. Uh, not a whole lot, except you can croak any second and not know what hit you. A dumb soldier's bullet is the least of your problems, although they've pulled in a lot of military here. Getting shot is basically the most painless kind of death in the zone. Anomalies, now that's something for you. Uh, to die in an anomaly is a terrible thing indeed. Even mutants try to keep away from them. By the way, mutants, these children of the zone, are another kind of trouble, so don't go anywhere unarmed. And anyway, to learn about the other dangers, just ask other stalkers. Okay, I'd like to know more. Uh, tell me about, uh, I guess the zone again. Yeah, who is Strelok? Strelok. Yes, I've heard of uh, of a stalker by that name. Rumors is he's one of the few who went to the center of the zone and made it back. Still, we got so many of the, these legendary stories about stalkers and heroes, or stalker heroes, that can't really guarantee anything. At any rate, I've never dealt with him personally. It seems he has his own trading channels. Anyhow, just ask the folks here in the zone and you'll be sure to learn a lot more. Okay. And uh, is there anything else? Yeah, what does the army do in the zone? They guard and protect what else? No one else, uh, no one really knows whether they're guarding the zone or protecting the rest of the world from it. Sometimes they send uh, whole expeditions here to look for something. But I'll tell you something, they don't respect the zone and the zone doesn't like them either. That's why they return home in body bags very often. What else is there? Well, they look down at everyone and act like gods or something. They have no respect for stalker rules and won't ever help you even if you're dying right in front of them. They'll gladly shoot you themselves though, and they don't get uh, reprimanded for that. I've got a few contacts uh, among them, you know, people always need vodka and um, magazines, right? Don't annoy them, they'll whack you for nothing. Alright, that's good to know. Uh, anything else? Like to know more? Yeah, I already, I already asked that. What's going on in this neighborhood? Tell me about the army outpost. The few soldiers there have been ordered to shoot on sight, so you'd better walk away, or, uh, walk around it, and try not to show your ass. If you piss them off, they may call for Spitznas for the further cordon. Okay, those guys uh, can brew up some shit that I won't have any customers for a month. I know the commander a little. He likes to take a swig as much as the next man. I'm surviving on there here to th uh, what? I'm surviving on here thanks to him. Okay, so I, I'm guessing this is the place where the uh, that bridge is, where those uh, that location is, I, uh, because they did look like soldiers. So uh, I like that's more. Okay, I want to know more about the fallen bridge. That's just a bunch. Uh, that's just a couple of minutes north of here. You'll see it right away. There used to be a bridge over the road, but then it collapsed during one of the blowouts. The army guys built a checkpoint there and don't let anyone through. 
but if you grease the right palm, you'll pass with no problems. In general, you won't, you don't want to show your face there too much unless you're badly wounded or got a heavy load on you. Okay, so I need to do something to, to get in the right terms with them, I guess. Okay, yeah, one more thing, might as well. This will be a, uh, a story episode and kind of like a lore episode. Um, tell me about the farm. You're getting boring, you know that? It's just a farm like any other. The place used to thrive before democracy broke out. Yay, thanks for calling me boring. I probably am. Uh, one more time. One more thing. Oh, that's okay. Apparently that's it. Okay. Okay, right now I don't want to take any jobs. What I want to know is what's Good going on. hunting, stalker. Thank you. Uh, I want to know what's going on outside. Like, what is going on? Like, it's nasty. Anyways, let's look at our PDA here. We do got the, um... This. Okay, so he's here, apparently. Come back to the ward. Okay. Let's try the muted farm. We haven't done that yet. So we'll go to that one. So what's his name? Uh, Nimble, that's it. Okay, let's go find Nimble. This way? Uh, I, I, apparently so. Oh, it stopped raining? It's getting, no, it didn't, okay. Yeah, I need to find out what's going on, guys. I apologize, this episode's gonna be a little bit slower. It's more of a, uh, I guess a lore type of episode. Where's Nimble? Did I pass him? Oh. Get out. Okay, so... Looks like he's in one of his houses. This house? Nope, I passed it. It's this house. Okay. Nimble. You okay? Yo, yo, man. You alright? Uh, I got you your suit. You, you okay, buddy? Uh, okay. I'm here for the job. Cool. Assignment is complete and here's a reward. Uh, mail jacket. Okay. Stone flower. Okay, so I got one of those, uh, artifacts. Cool. Uh, I need a job. Do you have something for me? Nothing. Okay. Uh, have anything, something to say that's interesting? Well, I'm not really up to date with the latest news. Okay. Well, nice talking to you, Nimble. And, uh, I think you should get out of here and go live a normal life in the outside world. Okay, um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like, should I... 1632. I mean, that's 4 4 p.m. That's 4.30. And why is it, like, pitch black outside? And, uh... I don't know. What I might do, though... Is I think I'm gonna call it an episode. And figure out what's going on here. This guy's wearing really cool armor. Hey, man. Petka Boar. Can you tell something interesting? Let's head to camp. You'll hear all the rumors there. Okay, I'm here. Uh, all you are doing this. What? All who are doing this is for the first time. The rookies like you usually drop by to pick up some pointers or rest a while. There are soldiers uh, standing nearby. Don't be too afraid of them, but don't get in their way either. They can shoot and not think twice about it. You were at the trade. I already. You said that to me already, didn't you? It sounds familiar. But you do have a nice uh, uh, suit, armor piece. Okay, guys, yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it. Did I go down here? No, I didn't. <laughs> I missed the spot. Cool. Bread. Am I stealing? It's okay. Can I sleep? Well. Whoa, that is really loud. Okay. Um. 
yeah, cool. I didn't even know this uh, place was here. So yeah, I think I'm going to call the episode, guys. I'm sorry. It was kind of a little bit of a uh, slower episode. It was creepy, though, coming back. Uh, I need to figure out what's going on. I think it might be one of the mods. Um, what I'm guessing, it might be the weather overhaul mod. Or maybe this ZRP mod. I gotta figure it out. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys liked the episode. I'm not gonna end it like I usually do now. But uh, I will end it, uh, I guess, uh, I'll end it in a nice way. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like. Please subscribe, but most importantly, please leave a comment and let me know uh, what you guys think of the uh, series so far and what you guys would like to see me do. Anyways guys, see you later. Bye bye